my friends. Welcome to building the Alpha Dory. <laughs> I guess I should call it sailing the Alpha Dory at this point. Yeah, this is what it's all about for sure. So, uh, yeah, we uh, set up the rig down at the landing and um, then rode across the river to the south side of the parker, raised sail, and uh, here we are out in the middle of uh, Broad Sound headed for, headed for uh, Dole's Island. That's Ipswich down there, Rowley and the Newbury behind us. And it looks like we're about to get our first test for the shakedown cruise. See if anything does shake down. Jib seems to be setting fairly well. We got a pretty good jib lead here. Heads around, but they're not bothering me too much. You get one, one in the exact center of the sail. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's probably real happy to see our mate place. We got a perfect breeze for the first sail here. Probably a 12 to 14, 10 to 14, something like that. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful little sun. That's one thing I'm going to look forward to the end of the sailing over the clock on our way today. Oh my gosh, yeah. getting hotter because so well I suppose if we went at eight tomorrow morning that would work. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Well, it's up to Nancy. Guys. And, uh, of course the evening is good too because you get you get light till about nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah and it's very comfortable out here right now with this breeze. Like if this breeze died it would be Hot, 
So this is uh, Plum Island up ahead. And then, uh, like I was saying, Ipswich down that way. A place called Castle Hill in Great Neck. And this is uh, Dole's Island here. Yeah, we're gonna get around Dole's Island no problem. It's easy in this thing. Oh, a skylight or something? Yeah, skylight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever those things are on old roofs, they're like hatch covers. Point here? Are we gonna clear the point, Mika? I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> okay, now the one thing with this boat so at the moment, and I I'm thinking about putting a little oak skag on it, we do not, we don't want to hit any buoys, because I think a line might get fouled in the rudder, especially if we're sailing slowly. I'm thinking about putting a wooden like an oak skeg that'll go back a little bit further on the transom. Just something that I can tack on there. Because I think the rudder will catch a line as it is right now. So just be super careful of that, you know, as like I know that sometimes it's just like, you know, you almost it's almost like buoys are sucking you in, you know? It becomes almost impossible to avoid, but do the best you can when you're sailing this to avoid buoys. Hopefully I'll get that oak thing on there, you know, like in the next week or less. Well, it's far enough where you won't hit the line from the buoy. So don't run the buoy over. Yeah, you don't want to run it over. All right, we're going to clear the point here. Cape Merrill. So we're about to head into the Plum Island River, or at least cross the mouth of it. Do you guys want to do uh, dinner over in Hales Cove, or do you just want to keep sailing and eat while we sail, or what? We almost might as well just keep sailing and just yeah, like just take eat. turns just and eat. eat. Yeah. 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 I'll celebrate the first sail with a beer though. Oh, for sure. 
it's up here by me. Before we before we crack it open, let's uh, let's do a tack up here at the uh, at the at Plum Island and get off on a new tack, and then uh, and then maybe uh, maybe celebrate. The uh, jib sheet hike is cleated off down there. Yeah, would you handle the jib sheets as we come around? Yeah, so you'll have to uncleat that one. And I think the other one is running pretty free. So, um, yeah, keep it in tight until we, until we actually tack. And it looks like we're going to clear. So there's the end of Dole's Island there. So if we tack now, we'll clear Dole's Island. Yeah, all right, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready about? Hardly. You just hang on. Pike's going to be doing all the work. He's got to switch the lines. Okay, so the other jib sheet is right here. There it goes. <laughs> all right, you can let out on this one, Pike, and take in on the downwind one. Awesome. Clear the oars. Okay. Alright. See if you can clear the oars. I'll slide off and you can go this way. Okay, hang on a sec. Yeah, it's not heavy at all. It's not hard to hold. Yeah, next time I'll do the jib sheets. <laughs> well, these ones are around the oar too. There we go. I think I can smell a bit of the ocean even. Or at least seaweed or something. Oh, some turns diving right there. Maybe I'm smelling fish. Okay, Pike, see if you can head us up towards the end of the island there. We may not be able to point, oop, other way. We may not be able to point that high. Okay. Yeah, so pull on the line that is on the side that you want to turn toward. And it's okay if we tack, too. We can just tack and head over towards uh, the knobs or whatever, if we got to. We got the turns diving like crazy here. Wow. We're going right through the school right now. They're everywhere here. Sort it out or? No, 
No, you're, you're working. Yeah, yeah, you're working fine, but you're tiring yourself out. Like after another 45 minutes of that, you'll be totally, your hands will be super tired. Yeah, there's, there's way too much line on that main sheet. What we need to do is we'll let it all the way out and then we'll cut it to the right, the proper length so that... Uh, well, I'm going to take another pound off the uh, blade end of the oars. Okay. They're, Fair they're, enough. they're pretty good, but they're just a little heavy. Side. An oar? No, a device. Oh, thankfully, no. <laughs> I didn't bring mine. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I tipped over and came with Dad and my phone. No, no, no tipping over allowed. Not in this. Yeah, so this is Dole's Island here, this grassy outcrop. Apparently the Dole family owned it way back when. Like the pineapple people? Yeah. yeah. Or actually the side of the family that didn't go to uh, Hawaii. That didn't go to Hawaii. Didn't go to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The poor Doles. <sighs> Got a green head. Yeah, I've noticed the greenheads swarm right after a power boat goes by. And uh, and then you'll notice like 10 minutes later they've pretty much uh, died off. They haven't been bad at all today. No, no, it hasn't been bad at all. Are you wanting to uh, take back the main sheet, Mika, or are you enjoying what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, it's just fine. Yeah, the uh, sail is nice, nicely shaped in it. There's really no slack spots in it. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Would that be the color for this one? Yeah, pretty close, yeah. Yeah, this. The cloth in this, it's a, a synthetic called Oceanus, and it was uh, developed as a cloth to resemble cotton canvas duck. Um, and it was developed for like historical tall ships, and then they started manufacturing finer weights of it for smaller boats, and uh, that's what we got here. We actually got the uh, leftover cloth from uh, Fame of Salem, their oh, jib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tobacco schooner Fame, their jib was this cloth.
Oh yeah, we're fine. We got the right away. Yeah, I guess so. I've actually, uh, I was talking with Bill and he wants to recut the sail on the boat that I built for him back in 2005 or something. So uh, I may have another project for him and Harold. We'll see. Who, who Bill? Uh... Bill Richards. No, I didn't do it here. Yeah, over in, uh, over on uh, Pantucket Pond. Oh, very handy, cool. Handy, uh, handy something. I don't know if it's just launched or what. It's a new boat. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. It's a little bit like a cat. Oh, cool. Where is that? They make sales with windows in them, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the legalities would be of putting a window in Oceanus fabric. <laughs> but yeah, they do. And that is one of the things with this boat is you gotta you gotta keep an eye out under the sail because things can hide. <laughs> A periscope. Well, thanks for joining us for the maiden sail out on the Parker River aboard Greta, the Alpha Dory. Um, 
and it's uh, been a pretty successful one so looks like the sun has set we're about to run out of oars and row for home but uh yeah gorgeous day out here Massive thank you to everyone who's liked, subscribed, and supported the channel. And uh, see all you guys next video and out on the water sometime soon.